from La Ponos on a road that passes along the coast, we cross an area eroded by the sun and the weather. Mangroves plant the roots deeply in the mud, acting as a barrier against erosion. The same plants give refuge to a marine flora. Here, the Straw Chapel of La Goulette, this place of worship and miracles, reminds us that nature is intimately linked with the divine. The road becomes serious as we come nearer to the legendary mountain. Finally, Le Monde, the enormous block of rock that advances in the ocean. After the abolition of slavery in 1835, English soldiers climbed up the mountain to announce to runaway slaves the good news. However, the slaves, overcome by fear, threw themselves into the void. Since then, the mountain has become the symbol of liberation. Nearby is the Moon Beach, so clean and so pure by its dazzling beauty that the soul is rejuvenated by just looking at it. Let's take the path that lead to the summit of Rumon. From the slope, the sight is marvelous. From there, you can observe the Ilo Benitier lying in a lagoon that seems to have set. In the valley that leads to the south, deer graze the grass, not worrying about tomorrow and happy to find pasture to appease their hunger. Lomorne village is hidden behind the hill. All around are fishermen's families again. A well-enclosed village that seems to have protected itself from the progress of modernity. From the west coast, we can move inside the island and by taking a road full of bands, we end up in the tropical forests. Here we are at the entrance of the Black River Gorges National Park, covering a total surface area of 6,574 hectares. This park contains a variety of animals as well as plants, some of which are unique in the world. Deep in the middle of those forests is located the Gambasa, the sacred lake of Hindus. Several magnificent temples are found alongside the lake and it is during the Mahashivratri festival that hundreds of thousands of pilgrims converge to this place to pay tribute to Lord Shiva. Moving from this sacred lake, we move further to admire the Alexandra Falls, as well as some other hidden in the dense forest. Here, only the sound of falling waters predominate, with the exception of the wild chirping of birds. The waterfalls of Mauritius still remain a beautiful discovery for nature lovers. The Rochester Falls resemble as if it has been sculptured in granite from the magical hands of the masters. The never-ending force of Chamarel in this beautiful natural scenery and the swirls of the Payon curve cannot be passed unnoticed. The Tamarind Falls ends its course in the pools where we can always have a swim. A little further away, 
We come near to the center of this tropical jungle, which becomes denser and denser. Let us admire these endemic plants, insistently heading their leaves in an intertwining luxurious vegetation. A flora, gift from the Almighty to mankind. Further away, we come to meet with a particular scenery. This small path leads us to a location where we can admire the wide valley glazing with vegetation. A sanctuary for birds and wild animals living in their own rhythm. We go down towards the west coast by a breathtaking road full of curves and slopes where we reach Chamarel. Here, hidden in the middle of a thick vegetation, lies a unique phenomenon of nature. An earth quarry queerly resembling the Saharian sand dunes in a smaller scale. This abundance of blue, red, purple and orange soil have found their identity in the name of Chamarel, the seven colored earths. The southern coast of the island. Serenity and tranquility are the words to describe this region that however hides its whims and surprises. Nakonde, completely uninhabited in the demarcation line between the west and the south of the island. From the top of that mass of rock, one discovers the immenseness of the ocean. an often unpredictable sea that threatens to engulf the one who will dare to defy it. Livia de Gale, the first place we meet with a certain particularity. 